FSI and its wholly owned subsidiary FSI North America are involved in the WMD, Life Safety, Hazmat, Decontamination, Mass Casualty, Medical, EMS, and Firefighting Markets around the world. FSI's portable, mobile, and fixed decontamination emergency shower systems, shelters, isolation shelters, medical surge capacity field hospital systems, and accessories are designed to meet the rigorous demands of Homeland Protection personnel worldwide. The ongoing and constant threat of disaster, pandemic flu, and terrorist attacks, both at home and around the world, has also resulted in a very real need for mobile field hospital type systems. FSI offers a complete range of mobile field hospital surge capacity shelter systems from 10 to 110 bed fully configured systems. FSI presents a 5,500 square foot 110 bed mobile field hospital surge capacity shelter system. Using a combination of regular and time-lapse video footage, let's review the setup procedures for all pneumatic FSI showers and shelters. Strip away the shipping boxes, leaving the unit in place in a shelter sleeve with all larger units on a skid. Unless the unit is to be used indoors on carpet, it is very important to first clean and then deploy tarps to cover the entire setup area. Remove the shelter sleeve and then roll out the shelter as shown. Systems of approximately 500 square feet or less, such as the 432 square foot shelter shown here, are easily deployed by two personnel. All field hospital shelters are designed to be attached end to end or side to side and so are fitted with hanging heavy duty Velcro attachments on the ends and sides. Using the supplied heavy-duty inflator-deflator units, simply lock them into place at each fill valve with a quarter turn and turn on the power. Compressed air may also be utilized to inflate the shelters via the supplied high-pressure compressed air fill hoses and universal SCBA adapters. Using time-lapse video footage, the DAT5672IS surge shelter as shown is inflated via the two air fill valves in approximately seven minutes. If compressed air fill is utilized, please ensure that each valve is manned continuously and turn off all air as soon as the overfill valves located above the fill valves are activated. Having laid out the five individual 1,000 square foot DAT 7500 IS surge shelters designed around a 1,000 square foot center hub unit, inflation commencing with the central hub can commence. Once the center hub unit is set up, the patient shelters attached end to end or side to side may then be deployed as laid out. Using the three air fill valve ports supplied with all 1,000 square foot and larger surge shelters, the fifth and final shelter in this field hospital is being deployed. With the field hospital fully deployed, we can evidence the interiors commencing with the center hub unit specially designed for this client with a double HVAC plenum. A single center full length plenum is standard. A full heavy duty floor and outer and insulating inner canopy are standard. All side and end man doors have full double closure zipper closure doors as well as strip screen exits to further protect the inner patient and first responder areas. All FSI surge shelter systems meet and exceed the CDC required 12 plus air exchanges per hour. All shelters are equipped with multiple HVAC ducting inlets. As teardown commences, 
Simply open the valves by depressing it in a quarter turn inward motion. The shelters have a natural tendency to collapse into the middle and may be assisted by using the tie-down ropes on both sides and pulling toward the middle. Now, simply loosely connect the deflation cap and hose supplied with the inflator deflators to the suction end of the unit and turn the power on. Insert the hose end into the open valve and turn the power on and deflation will commence and requires little attendant oversight. Once completely and fully deflated, the unit is ready to be packed away in the same manner it was received. Fold approximately one-third into the middle on each side. Pull the unit on the one side fully over and across the shelter. Tightly melon roll the shelter toward the pre-placed shelter sleeve. Then position and store the unit. FSI offers shelters from 100 to 1850 plus square feet, portability, little storage space required, few personnel required for deployment, systems fully deployable in minutes, simple systems that require little training, no tools required, special sizes on demand. FSI offers complete 10 to 120 bed plus field hospital systems. Pneumatic technology, a preferred system for hospitals or medical centers according to specifying influences. Pneumatic shelters that set up in minutes make sense since staff simply will not have the manpower, training, time, or tools to set up structural Quonset Hut type shelter systems in the event of a major disaster when the arrival of mass numbers of incoming patients is imminent. FSI North America, a division of Fire Safety International Incorporated. 311 Abbey Road, Sheffield Lake, Ohio, USA 44054. Call 440-949-2400 and visit our website at www.fsinorth.com. Hi, my name is Troy Urbanshaw. I'm the manager of disaster preparedness here at St. Francis Medical Center. Today we're setting up our 100 bed surge hospital which created out of inflatable tents. We also have uh, two trailers here, a 53 foot Remert 1 trailer, a 48 foot Remert 2 trailer. Our Remert 1 trailer creates a 16 bed emergency department. We also have some other trailers. We have a logistics command trailer if we were to set up our hospital out in the field, a mass fatality trailer, and a decon structure along with a decon trailer to decontaminate any hazardous materials that might be on our patients. This is our command center. 
It, uh, it allows us to communicate. It has a medical communication department, also has satellite internet, satellite TV, which will allow us to stay up to date on information and relay information to and from the hospital, staying active with our email and watching the weather and so on. Um, it also has some staff quarters for uh, our staff to sleep and uh, just relax while they're not working back in the medical tent. This is a Mod 75, it's a mass oxygen delivery system. It allows us to deliver oxygen to over 50 patients at a total of 415 liters per minute. It's very unique, and there's not very many in existence. And it's one of the only systems that we have that we can get enough, this much oxygen to this many patients at one time. In the unfortunate event of a mass fatality incident, here in Region 2 we have a refrigerated trailer that's capable of holding up to 60 bodies. What we have here is a portable decontamination unit. It's two lanes, three stages, so we can separate male and female. But what this allows us to do is make sure we can get all the contaminants off our patient before allowing them to enter into our hospital. When and if a disaster strikes, OSF St. Francis Medical Center is prepared to respond to that disaster. All of these assets here could be deployed anywhere in Region 2 within a 36-hour window to provide health care for those in their desperate time of need.
setting up our uh, tent hospital, our tent city, which creates a hundred bed hospital. There's a series of tents, as you can see down here. There's three tents set up. The tent we're standing in will be an emergency department. Then a, a transition tent, and then the hub with four wings off of it that'll create a hundred bed field hospital. So this will be a sixteen bed emergency department and a hundred bed field hospital. Where would you use this? We could use this for numerous things. If, if you know, a hospital had surge capacity and we needed to. Uh, use it in that kind of sense. We could use a pandemic. If we had an influx of influenza patients, we could use it for that. Or if something happened to the structure of a medical center inside Region 2, we could set this field hospital up to, uh, to, re to alleviate the overflow from that also. FSI North America, a division of Fire Safety International Incorporated. 311 Abbey Road, Sheffield Lake, Ohio, USA, 44054. Call 440-949-2400 and visit our website at www.fsinorth.com.